Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video for you and this time I have a Q&A. I know we have a Q and A on um, you know men on bags, but over um, the months I have been getting questions on my own channel here on Doc Luxury, and I have um, accumulated you know some of them, and I just wanted to basically make a video, and I will try to get through as many of these questions as I can. So uh, let's see. The first one comes from. Catnips111, and this was from my video where I received um, a Chanel flat card case that I ordered from Hawaii, and I had it um, gift wrapped along with another um, item that I had purchased at the time. And um, Catnips111 asked, Don't understand. Why do you want purchases gift wrapped? And a simple answer to that one is you know why not if it's free and it makes you know buying a whole lot more special then you know why not um, so yeah so that is the answer to that one and so here is a question from Andre she asked and this is from a video that we did um, and this was actually for men on bags but this is when men on bags was still on dock luxury and this was from episode number seven, um, where we talk about, is there such a thing as being too fat for fashion? So her, her question is, how about ageism? I absolutely hate it when something is referred to as only a 50 year old would wear. I'm sorry, I didn't realize there was an age limit on clothes. As for fashion, it's um, there for everyone to enjoy, whether you're tall, short, average, thin, fat, square, pear, or apple shaped. Mix or match an after, an alter if need be. Do what makes you happy and only do what makes you happy. Advantage of being a 51 year old, you stop giving a F. And I'm sure you guys know what, what she means by, by that. Um, yeah, I totally agree. There are, you know, people out there that think that, you know, things are only appropriate for a certain age group. But to be honest with you, if you like it, rock it. And, um, yeah, if you are not feeling like it, um, feeling, you know, that it's your style, but it's supposedly in your age group, you know, don't wear it. And... Yeah, so I totally agree with you, Andre. Like, if you want to wear it, you should go ahead and wear it. Don't, who cares what other people think? If you feel good in it, you go ahead and rock it. All right, so I have a question from, let me see, Chris Corning, I believe. It's very small print here that I have, so I am sorry if I mispronounce your name. And this is from um, a, a video where I purchased a, um, a piece from Louis Vuitton. It was my um, camouflage, or not mine, it was the um, camouflaged Port Dog Voyage in the PM size. And he asks, have you looked at any of the America's Cup line? Those are also cobalt and their design is pretty bold. And I believe what he is referring to, I'll place pictures here if I do find any, but I know there's a backpack, maybe a key ball, and um, something else, I forget. But it is, you know, the red and the white, and I believe a blue, sort of like a flag print. And yeah, those are um, very bold. Um, but the only thing with that is that I do know that um, most of that is painted and I have seen reviews on YouTube already where, you know, that paint is already um, chipping off or rubbing off, which I did not like that. And so, yeah, I decided um, not to venture in that line at all. And so that's another thing with um, Louis Vuitton, whenever they do have, 
you know, these limited edition prints, it is usually sort of like a paint on it, on top of the canvas. And usually after a while they do start chipping or rubbing off and yeah, that's not a good look. And so I tend to stay away from, from that. All right, so I have a question from Argel Brian Augustine, and I do apologize if I mispronounce your first name. And this was a question from a video where I compared all of the different um, Louis Vuitton Port Document bags from the Port Document Voyage PM, the GM, the regular one, and I believe I also compared it to the Port Doc Voyage, no, the Port Doc Jour. Anyway, so he asks, Hey Doc Luxury, love your bags, but not a fan of the limited edition Cobalt Blue PDPM. Have you seen any of the new LV prints, the Monogram Eclipse? And yes, I have, and I do own a piece. And um, you could search my channel. I do have an unboxing of that piece. It is the, um, oh my God, what is it called? The Pochette Voyage in the Monogram Eclipse. And yeah, I love that piece. I have not used it yet. Unfortunately, just because I have not found the occasion to. All right, let me see here. So I have a question again from that same video from FMFV1. Hey. Um, so she asks, awesome, awesome. Thorough comparison. Would pick Port Doc 2 for the structure. Not much of a monogram person, but OMG. That piece is the most stunning to me. Too bad with the tearing issue. And I think she's talking about my Port Doc Voyage in the GM size. And she then asked, don't want to take it in for repair. Anyway, thanks for sharing, take care. So I have um, gotten a quote from Louis Vuitton to um, ask how much it would cost to repair. And this is just the, the side piece and I'm too lazy to go get that bag at the moment, but if you are interested, there is a video that you can search on my channel where I show you that damage that is going on with that bag. But I have brought it in to Louis Vuitton and I forget the exact price that I was quoted for repairing just one of those pieces, but I thought it was too expensive to do that and so I um, decided not to. Um, later down the line, if I do decide to keep it, um, and it does get worse, I might then consider it. But right now it's just a tiny, um, tiny tear. And so at the moment I'm not going to get it repaired because it's just too expensive and I don't want to pay that money. All right. So here is, and some of these questions are very, very old. So if you don't remember asking these questions, I would totally understand. So here is a question from Daniel Hammond. He's a longtime supporter of us. Hey, Daniel, thank you for, you know, continuing to follow us on Men on Bags and here on my Doc Luxury channel. And this was from my, um, my video vlog number three. So this was very old. He asked, your sense, of the, your sense of direction could not possibly be worse than mine. I am shocking. <laughs> I think this is because I did get lost in that video walking around the Mall of America. Um, and then he goes, if it is not private information, may I ask what city you live in? I got the idea that you are in Hawaii, but the scenery in today's vlog did not seem to look like Hawaii. Then again, I have not been there, so how would I know? I hope your week is terrific. And so, yeah, I, I'm sure my week was terrific. As far as what city I live in, I do live in the St. Paul um, Twin Cities area here in Minneapolis, not Minneapolis, in Minnesota. And I have been here for a little under, um, maybe around uh, one and a half years or so. And so, <clears throat> yeah, so I do live in Minnesota where it is very cold. Right now we are having a heat wave. It is like 40 degrees, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And so it is pretty warm right now if you consider how cold it does get in this area. All right, so here is a question from Anna Romero. And this is from a video where I showed you the wear and tear of my Chanel card case where the um, the gold started to rub off and she asked I am new to Chanel but doesn't Chanel take accountability for this 
Can you take it back into the store? I know with Louis Vuitton, they fix any issues on your items, even if they are old items. Great video, by the way. And so I have, and I do not own this piece anymore. I did end up selling it. But, um, so I have reached out to um, Chanel and I did purchase this in a Nordstrom um, store. No, not a Nordstrom. Where did I purchase this? I think it was in a Neiman Marcus. And um, that particular store was in Beverly Hills and I am not no longer in Beverly Hills. And so I did reach out to a sales associate who worked at a Chanel in a Neiman Marcus. And um, they said I would have to send in my item to get it um, looked at by them. And I just thought it was, you know, not worth the effort. And most likely they would, you know, um, not repair it. I mean, I don't know, maybe, considering what other people have gone through. And so I didn't think it was worth it. And so I just decided to sell it. All right. So here is another question from Giddy Boy LDN. And this is from my very first video my Louis Vuitton man bag collection video. He asks, wow, what an amazing collection you have and thanks for sharing. Loved everything but my fave was a blue port document jour. Would you consider a bag an epi? And um, yes, I would. And um, <clears throat> right now, as far as if I were to ever buy anything else from Louis Vuitton, I would probably, you know, get something in one of the leathers, not really the canvas, um, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe, you know, a different canvas will come out that I like, but at the moment I want to um, stay away from canvas type bags and go for more of the leather. And yeah, Epi would be, you know, one of those on the list. I probably would prefer something in the, um, the Taiga leather just because it seems more um, durable, but I think Epi is durable as well. Um, so let me see. And some of these I have already um, given answers to. Well, here's one. <laughs> so here's one from my video where I um, show you my sunglasses collection. And this video comes from John Victor Andasan. Hey, John. Um, he asks, so many sunglasses. Nakko. Um, dope collection. How much wear do you get each? How much wear do each one get in total? I just wear my Ray-Ban Clubmasters all day, every day. <laughs> and so... To be honest with you, the sunglasses that I um, wear most often are my Chanel Runway sunglasses um, in the blue. I have them in silver and in red as well, but the blue one gets most of the use. As far as my other sunglasses in my collection, it is sad, but I do not wear them a lot just because you know it's a pain getting them in and out and I might feature um, or I might consider selling some of them soon. Um, a question. Okay, so I have a question from on the other side of that. I had a eyeglasses collection video. And this question comes from Sierra Elizabeth. Um, she asks, I love the storage, LOL, at the Scotch Tape. <laughs> is because I um, scotch taped together the storage um, compartments of my um, cases. And she says, I'm so impressed with your collection. Where do you go to find these designer brands? I'm new to glasses, been wearing them for two years, and I've only gone to Lens Crafters. And so it's interesting that she mentions Lens Crafters because that is where I have found most of these glasses. Um, <clears throat> I have also, so, Lens Crafters, for those of you that aren't familiar, it is um, a store that um, you know does glasses, most glasses, in about an hour or so. And so, for the convenience, is a really good place to go to. Um, what you might not know is that some stores, so there are different stores in the Lens Crafters brand. Um, it is all owned by Luxottica. 
which is the umbrella organization. And so along with Lens Crafters, Luxottica also owns Pearl Vision. Um, I think they also, they own Sears Optical and some other of the higher end sunglasses um, brands. They own Sunglass Hut, iLori, and Aspen, or um, Shops of Aspen. Uh, as far as lens crafters themselves though, just that store in particular, there are different levels of stores that um, that there are, like um, there's Red and Red Plus. I forget the designations and which stores have certain things, but I can tell you that um, some of the stores, like the one in Beverly Hills, there's one store there, there is one in Las Vegas. Those stores, they're considered Red Plus, I, I believe. Anyways, those are the top tier stores, and those stores carry brands like Tom Ford, Gucci, Cartier. Um, I know there's a store um, close by here in Rochester, Minnesota that carries the higher end brands. Um, but yeah, so I got most of my glasses from Lens Crafters. Some of these glasses like this one right here in particular, they are Ray-Ban. And these were originally sunglasses and so sometimes I buy sunglasses and um, you know just have clear lenses put in them. They do have my prescription, and these in particular are um, transition lenses, so they do get darker in the sun. Um, okay, moving on. I have a question, again, from my eyeglasses collection video from Catnips111. So this is another um, question from Catnips. She asks, are you a real MD? And I guess that question is because my YouTube and Instagram name is Doc Luxury, so I am not an MD, but I am a PhD. And um, when I was trying to figure out names for my channel last year, that is, um, yeah, it took me a while to come up with that name, but I thought you know it fit, and I liked it, so I went with it. Next up, I have a question about um, from a Chanel card case um, unboxing. This is from Premium Live. Hey, she asked, so love your picks or love your pieces in caviar leather. So sad to hear about the tags, but but then how we are going to find out the skew to purchase these items with our essays on the phone. Have a fab 4th of July. So you can see that was back from the 4th of July. So I've been accumulating these questions, like I said, for a long time now. And this is at the time when I, um, when my essay in Chanel um, told me that they are no longer sending out the, the, um, the tags with their items. And I don't know if that's still in effect because, like I said, in 2017, I am not going to buy anything from the boutique. And so I have not, you know, contacted my SA from from Chanel in a while. So I don't know if that's still, you know, in effect or not. So yeah, don't um, think that I know what's going on in the boutique. Um, so here is another question from that same um, video. This is from Lola W. She says, "Lovely review. Chanel SLGs are so luxe." Where did you get your Prince poster? Thanks. So the Prince poster that she's talking about is that one right there. And I got that from um, an event here in Minnesota that's called Art A Whirl. And I could find out the, the artist for you, but sorry, I'm just too lazy. The, um, the, the artist's card is inside that poly bag, but yeah, I don't wanna, I don't feel like taking it down and putting it back up right now, so sorry. But yeah, so I did get that at a event. It is a, um, a print of a larger, a larger piece um, that she had done, and it is made out of a lot of different pictures. And so, um, so yeah, I would do a close up also, but again, I am too lazy, sorry. But I did get it from this event called Art of World. Um, next up, I have, 
Okay, another question from Catnips111, and this is from a video on my Chanel O cases. And so she asks, or he asks, why need to carry a lint roller and three atomizers? And I think this is because um, I showed what I carry in my bags and I had a lint roller and three, you know, cologne atomizers. And again, just like your other question here where you ask, why did you want purchases gift wrapped? It's like, you know, why not? If I want those things in my bags, then I'll keep those things in my bags. There's not really a rhyme or reason why I have them in there. It's just because they fit. And finally, I have a question from an uh, unboxing video where I reveal my Chanel Airlines collection um, shield glasses, sunglasses that is. And this question comes from Dakota Stallard. She asks, are these sold out everywhere now? I've been trying to find them online and I have been having no luck. And so at the time I did um, purchase those sunglasses, they were back ordered um, in the online store. And so I did not purchase them through there. And if you go back to my video where I unbox that, um, those sunglasses, I mentioned that um, a good friend of mine on YouTube and on Instagram, she goes by Style via Lauren. She is a personal shopper and this was the first item that I enlisted her help with. So she was able to find these sunglasses in a store in Beverly Hills and she got me in contact with um, the sales associate over there and for more info um, you could check her out on her channel and email her if you want to find these sunglasses. I am not sure if they are completely sold out now. I'm sure that they are just because the Chanel Airlines collection is an older collection now. And like most brands, they are on to the next collection. And right now the collection in the stores is the Cuba collection. And so, yeah, so good luck finding them. If you um, need help, like I said, do contact um, Lauren. But yeah, so that is all the questions that I have at the moment for for this video. Um, if you have any questions um, with any of my videos, leave them down below and I will try my best. I'll try not to wait a whole year to get to them. But yeah, just leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I could or as soon as I can. Um, but yes, I still thank each and every one of you for, you know, staying in there with me. And I do appreciate all your love and support. Um, until next time, just remember to be you and stay confident. Take care, you guys. Goodbye. Thank you.